Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. This is one of my crazy, crazy ideas I had of, of making a coat rack. And I wanted it to look kind of cowboy style. And I thought the stars would look cool. So, so this is the design I came up with. And let me show you how I made it. The first thing I do is rip down some scrap material. I rip down five and a quarter inches wide and then I cut some five and a quarter inch squares, five of them. I then take all these squares over to the bandsaw and I cut five circles. I lost some video footage right after this, but I take these circles and I run them through the joiner and then I run them through the sander and then I router all four edges, or I, I, I router both sides of them. I then carve, I then take my Dremel, and with a number 107 bit, I carve out the centers of the stars. And next time I'm going to get a template for this size of a star. I, I drew these, but they came out okay. But I, you know, I drew them myself. So they really look hand carved. Next, after I get them all carved, I stain the round circles blue and leave the stars bare. I grab my nail gun and I mounted all the stars to these stanchions and then I also mounted the stanchions to the board. The board is six feet long by five and a quarter and I rounded off the face of it and I sanded, I used my rigid sander to sand all those riser blocks and glued everything. Right here I clean off all the glue and get it ready to oil. I'm going to use a Watco Danish oil that I recently been trying out and it seemed like it worked pretty good. So right here I get everything cleaned off. I put down some plastic and I proceed to um, I proceed to oil this whole rack. I always like to try to get as much of the glue off as possible because the glue, a lot of times when you're staining or painting or something, the glue kind of shows up. So it's good. I always try to get it off of there. So right here I get the wok coat and I start applying it. It's a real clear, it's pretty natural. It almost matches the wall inside of my um, house perfectly as far as the natural color. So I, I oil all of the light color wood and yeah, it kind of had a cool, this is a crazy, uh, this is probably one of the crazier things that I've built, but yeah, this is the outlaw style hat rack. Anyway, yeah, I oil this whole piece. I kind of like this Waco oil. I, I'll have to see how... I've done a few pieces with it so far and I've, I've liked how it looked. It really looks nice on when you have contrasting colors of wood. I then take the stars and I, I use some water-based uh, polyurethane. And I put five coats on, on these little round stars. And the nice thing about this water-based polyurethane, it dries in an hour. So you can come right back in an hour and put another coat on. And just keep doing it until you're happy with how shiny it is. I put five coats on and that seemed plenty shiny for me. It, um, it, I, th I felt like it looked pretty good. It has that really country country vibe to it. After, um, after applying multiple coats of the polyurethane and letting it dry, I then proceed to mark out the screw holes for mounting it on the wall. This was scrap wood, so there was a few holes already in the wood, so I used those holes and then made um, corresponding holes that would look the same so I ended up putting eight holes and pre-drilled them so that they would accept some wood plugs also so right there I got I have the rack ready to go and now I'm gonna get a scrap piece of wood and make eight plugs
I'm gonna have to get a new plug bit because that that thing was smoking when I was making those plugs, but they still came out okay. So I get all the plugs and I get some screws and I get my screw gun and I proceed to go up and that was that rack was there when I bought the house. That's the ugliest rack I've ever seen. Although the one I built is pretty wild, so we'll see if how long I uh, we'll see if it grows on me. But I get I get this old rack off of there and throw that in the trash, and then I I grab the the outlaw rack and put it up on the wall. I get it where I want it. I put screw in one side and then I measure and make sure that this thing's nice and level. Once I got it where I want it, I, I run all the screws in and then I, I get the plugs and I put all the plugs in. I decided not to glue these plugs in because this is kind of a crazy design and I'm going to, I'm going to let it, uh, I'm going to just use it for a while and see how I like it. So far, I think it looks cool. Um, and I'm happy with it, but you know, you never know if, if everybody else will think the same thing. Maybe people make fun of me, but I, I have these little hooks, cheap little hooks that I ran into the bottom of them to hang the coats from. And it really, the whole thing works really well. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I really enjoy making things and this was fun to make. It's just out of some scrap wood that I had laying around. And I really enjoy it. It was fun to make. We'll see how people like it. Let me know in the comments if you, if you think it's cool. And um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to have it up here for a little while, see if it grows on me. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, ring the bell if you want to, subscribe if you want to, like the video if you want to, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Later.